You tap the launcher icon for your app, your app launches. Sounds easy, right? But what's happening behind the scenes is a little more involved. Turns out the activities in your app don't live in a vacuum, but instead exist as part of one or more tasks. Now, a task in and of itself isn't very complicated. It's simply a stack of activities. As you call start activity, that pushes a new activity onto the task's back stack. The back button reverses this, calling finish on the current activity, popping it from the stack, and taking the user back to where they were, hence the name. This symmetric push-pop model also applies to fragments. When specifying a fragment transaction, you can call add to back stack to add the fragment transaction to the back stack. Then, when the user hits the back button, instead of your activity being finished, the fragment transaction is reversed. Only when there are no more fragment transactions will the back button finish your activity. Now, if instead of hitting the back button, you were to hit the home button, the whole task is put in the background. If you then tap the launcher icon, the system brings the task back to the foreground, right where you left it. Same thing happens if you select the app's task from the overview screen. The task is brought to the foreground. For many apps, this default behavior is all you would need. No touchy. Nice, consistent, symmetric operations. But there are two specific cases where you might want to do something special. First, if you're calling start activity with the activity you're already on. This might be the case where you're on a search results page and search again. Instead of piling up activity after activity and requiring multiple presses of the back button, you can add a launch mode of single top to your activities manifest entry or include flag activity single top in your intent. Instead of a new instance of your activity being created every time you called start activity, you get a callback to on new intent and users will be able to hit the back button just once to return to the previous activity. The second case is around notifications. We talked about how the back button pops the back stack. A natural corollary is that the back button shouldn't cross into different tasks, a convention since the days of Android 3.0. It's just a single stack from where you are to the launcher. Remember, there's that fancy overview screen for switching tasks. So for a notification that points to an activity deep within your app, you really don't want that first press of the back button to take you immediately to the launcher. Not when every other time you're looking at that same screen, the back button does something different, like go back in your app. That's where Task Stack Builder comes in. It builds a synthetic, i.e. fake, back stack by default, based on the parent activities you attach to each activity entry in your manifest. Although you can customize it any way you want, adding extras, whatever you need. This ensures that even if there's no task, when the user taps the notification, they're exactly where they expect to be in your app, as if they had navigated there themselves. You just save them some time and effort getting there. So check out the blog post linked in the description for all the details on tasks and the back stack, plus some of the other flags and launch modes you probably shouldn't use. Well, right up until they're the perfect thing to use to build better apps. Thanks. Wait, what was that? The up button? Yeah, that's totally different. Let's discuss in the blog post.